guys, so for today's video, we're going to be putting to the test this nail varnish here. So this is from the company for your nails only. So she is an indie brand and she is based in the UK. So basically this is a thermal nail varnish and I want to put it to the test to see if this colour will change when we run it under hot water, if we run it under cold water, I'm not too sure, but we're going to find out. So this is going to be truly amazing. So this is the shade Harvest and this retails for... 6.95 so that's a 10 mil bottle or you can get a 5 mil bottle which is 3.95 um i'll leave her website and her instagram below she does amazing like nail porn which sounds like so funny but she like mixes them she stirs them and she like puts them into bottles and it's like the most satisfying thing ever like i'm gonna put a little clip in here of her mixing one of the varnishes that like, is so beautiful so yeah we're gonna now scoot on over to me applying the polish and things like this so yeah okay so this is the nail varnish so this is for your nails only and it's got this beautiful glitter in it like it's very purple pink with sort of gold shimmer raking through it so this is a 10 ml bottle and it does say for your nails only the 24 month lifespan it's flammable and it says shake well before use like any other nail varnish you can shake them you can roll them i personally prefer to roll them and i've already applied the opi natural nail base coat for your nails only they do do a base coat and a top coat as well but obviously this is what i have i don't have that. i just wanted to shine a torch on this to see if we can really see the glitter but i feel like it's too light in here at the minute but it's really 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 beautiful so let's get to applying that on the nails. So obviously, like I said, just got the base on. Obviously, my cuticles aren't in the best shape, but we're not looking at my cuticles. We're looking at the nail varnish. And obviously, they're all a bit odd length at the minute, especially this one, because, well, it broke. So let's go ahead and apply this. So I do like to stick my pinky flat on something, just so I find that I have balance. It's quite a thin varnish, like there's nothing thick about it. I do like to just cap the edges as well, just so I find that it chips less fast. Fast? Fast. Okay, so this is what one coat looks like. So obviously we're going to have to go in with a second layer. But so far it looks really, really pretty. I just can't wait to see what it looks like on a second layer. So I'm going to quickly whiz through and paint the rest of my nails. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with the second coat. So let's do that. I can't, I'm trying to stay on camera as much as I can. Right, let's do like something like this because with thumbs it's so much more difficult. It's going to wipe off the excess. Do need to clean it up a little bit, but this is the full coat and then this is just the first coat. So you can tell a major, major difference. So I'm just going to do that to all the nails now. Okay, so now that that is all dry, I'm going to take the OPI top coat, which just looks like so, and paint it on. So this is what it looks like without no top coat on. So it's still got a little bit of shine, but not as much as I personally like. I really like shiny nails. So yeah, we're going to apply that on. Hopefully the top coat doesn't stop it from activating the like thermal thing. I shouldn't imagine it would. Fingers crossed it doesn't, and if it does, we'll have to take it all off and <laughs> reapply it, but yeah. So this is the one with the shine on, and then this is one without it. So these are the two shades side by side, with top coat, without top coat. Okay, so now that that's all painted on, I'm going to let it dry, like really dry for a good couple of hours before we put it to the test and see how it changes colour so yeah this is the aftermath of it all and yeah i'm super impressed the colour's actually really really pretty okay so now the nails have fully dried i have hot and cold water 
So hot is what's going to make it turn to a different colour. I'm pretty sure this is hot. Yes, it feels warm. <gasps> Look! It's like this gorgeous light pink shade that is so beautiful. That is truly amazing. That is such a gorgeous colour like that. So obviously when you dip it into cold, look you can see it's already changing. When you dip it into cold, it turns back to that colour like instantly. How amazing is that? Like I was, I went to a Morrison's and the sun hit it and it was really warm and it turned that pink colour and oh I just, I'm fascinated, I really am. I think it's so so beautiful. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed. Okay, so now we've seen everything in action. I am so impressed. I absolutely love this. At the minute, my nails are pink. Uh, because I think I was straightening my hair, so the heat, when I was like doing whatever with it and putting product in, the heat's changed it to this colour. Um, yeah, I really actually like this pink colour and I also love this purple colour. It's absolutely beautiful. But I want to see how long the varnish like, lasts for. So like obviously we're on Monday, September 17th and I just want to see how basically if it's going to chip and stuff. So I will do check-ins uh, tomorrow to see how that, to see how it's going and then we'll do it ever so often, see if it lasts a week, see if it lasts two weeks, whatever. But yeah, I'm super excited for this and yeah, I think it's so, so pretty. So we'll, ask, well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow and a couple of days after that as well. So yeah. So today's date is Wednesday 19th of September, so we're two days in. And so far it's looking really good. Obviously I'm a little bit warm and I've just had something cold to drink, so it's turning back to purple. I do have a little chip in this one, but I probably could have capped the edge a bit better and that probably would have been absolutely fine because the rest of them are doing really, really well. So we have this hand as well. So this one's chipped as well but this one's like a really dodgy now like it's not shaped properly or anything it's a bit rough probably should have filed that a little bit before i done anything to it i did buff but you know that's not always the jam but the rest of them are looking really good i just love the whole color change obviously it's still changing color and stuff yeah so this oh is this one got oh yeah this one started to come off like the edges a little bit but yeah, again, if you probably capped it a bit better than I did. When I mean capped, I mean like you paint the nail and then you put nail varnish around the rim to stop it from chipping so fast. So I always find it does a good job. That one has gone a little bit, but it's nothing too bad. Yeah, I'm really impressed so far. And obviously you can see that it's all still changing colour and stuff. So yeah, this is day two. So the date now is the 22nd of September. So we are five days in. And I know my lighting's a little bit poor. I'm trying to let some light in. Um, I got a little bit of a chip on this one now, which is not a problem. This one was chipped before, but hasn't really chipped much since. Like, it's still stayed the same. Other than that, everything's looking really, really nice. Um, obviously, all the thermals are still working. It's still going from pink to purple and all of that good stuff. And then on this hand, we've got a little bit of wear and tear around the top of these two. Uh, chip on this one still it's probably gone down a little bit more now but still nothing too bad um, but yeah I'm still really really impressed with the nail varnish can't believe how long it's lasted and stuff yeah I'm super super happy but I am going to remove it today because I like to let my nails breathe for a day or two before I repaint them again so yeah this uh, nail varnish gets a really big thumbs up for me I think it's so beautiful I will leave their Instagram and their website below. They are honestly such a good brand. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely be buying more nail varnishes from this company. <laughs> That's the end of the video. Bye! Like finger popping.